At this point, most of you have seen the meme of fake news used over and over again by the mainstream media. But what's happened here is very important. I talked about this in another video, talking about H.R. 5181. This is the Countering Disinformation and Propaganda Act. What people need to know is that Obama signed this into law quietly. And they did so by tucking this into the NDAA for 2017. Now, they're saying that this is aimed toward countering foreign propaganda and disinformation. And they have worked with some off-the-wall type of websites that have listed several different outlets and websites themselves as being propaganda. Or basically what they're saying is these sites have been flagged for supporting Russia. Russian propaganda. And they're labeling it fake news. Now, if there was an asteroid or say a meteorite came in and exploded over top of Russia again, if you were to do a story on that, they're immediately going to say it's Russian propaganda. That's all they care about. That's how pathetic it is. Now, if you were to find a mainstream media article on talking about Russia and cover the exact same thing that they say in it, this site, prop or not, will come along and ding you and say you're pushing Russian propaganda. But hold on a second. If it's coming from one of your mainstream New York Times, Washington Post type of outlets, how come you're not saying that they're pushing Russian propaganda? They're not. So what they're doing is they're simply targeting people that are speaking the truth. And what they've done with this whole act is put independent media in the crosshairs. They are forming a group, a certain agency that is going to tackle this head on, they say. And what does this mean? This means the restriction of freedom of speech. This means that people like me and others out there that are just simply giving you the truth they're going to say it's fake news because it doesn't align with the establishment. This is about as Gestapo as it gets. So others out there just not saying it. And I think it's really going to come down to where some of these websites are getting picked off and attacked one by one. Here recently I've seen this whole campaign now launched toward Mike Adams and Natural News they're going after him hard. Uh, Forbes did a hit piece on him. And it shows that their mainstream outlets here are trying to zero in on the top tier alternative media outlets, independent media outlets, and slander them with everything they have. What's sad is if you look into some of these sites, some of them are thoroughly against Russia, like me. I don't stand for Russia, the Russian government, Putin, none of their communist crap whatsoever. I'm here telling you that this is a world stage and that these world leaders are working together behind the scenes and that it's a play on the minds of the people. But that's the last thing they want you to hear. That's why they label it fake news. And I'm here to tell you that from here on out, you better start flipping the rock over. Every time they say something's fake news, you better start digging a little bit deeper because anytime they're attacking someone heavily, it shows they're trying to cover something up. And that that person's been dishing out some information that they're not liking. And chances are it's the truth. So this is an all-out war on freedom of speech, folks. And I think some people are going to sit back and think it's just another piece of paper that Obama signed. But you're not getting it. They're going after the outlets. And I guess it's not going to be until some of these people are gone that people realize what's going on. And by then, if you let them come and pick off the top tier cats with, with the largest voice, well, then any of those channels that was echoing the message of truth, they're gone. It's going to make it that much harder to get the truth out. Now, I'm not defending any and all these sites that they go after. Some of them I've never heard of. Some of them, no doubt, spewing fake news. But when they put legitimate people on there just because they don't align with the establishment views it becomes a big problem. IntelliHub here also targeted and others. Why? Once again, because they, they don't push the mainstream propaganda. That's the thing. But let it be known, Obama signed this into law. 
can see right here, HR5181. I've done another video on it, but I can't stress enough the importance that people realize what's happening here. Freedom of speech is under attack big time. There's more details here at this link. I'll leave it in the description box. This has been Dabu7. Peace.